week we like to take a look at the news and health from around the web. This week we're starting with the five fitness trends for 2011. The folks over at SheKnows.com are already looking forward to next year and they say in the coming year we'll be hearing a lot more about corporate wellness, fitness boot camps, and even kid-friendly fitness. So for more on that story you can visit this link and head over to SheKnows.com. Next is, are your credit cards making you fat? And the guys at Men's Health say yes. They've published about a new research study that looked at a thousand different households and found that those families that paid for their groceries with cash actually bought fewer unhealthy foods, meaning they were less motivated to impulse buy all the potato chips and cookies and soda that fill those end caps at the grocery store. So, if you're trying to watch your weight and your budget, you might consider planning your meals ahead and only taking an allotted amount of cash to the grocery store with you rather than swiping your credit card at the checkout. The food pyramid for adults. Now, a lot of people are confused about the food pyramid and a lot of that might come from the fact that in 2005 the USDA actually changed the name to My Pyramid, if you didn't know. So the folks from Live Strong via Yahoo Shine are talking to us about the food pyramid and they're really explaining what it is and how we can use it to live a healthy lifestyle. They talk about the different food groups, how you can budget for calories. So head on over to this link at Yahoo Shine and you can see that full story about the food pyramid. This week from dietsandreview.com, we have a story called Sarah Palin Bashes Healthy Snacks. The Pennsylvania Board of Education is trying to stop childhood obesity in their schools, a noble cause of course, and one idea they have is to limit the amount of sugary treats given to students during the school day. Recently, Sarah Palin made a visit to a Pennsylvania school to give a speech, and you'll actually just have to watch this video to see her reaction to this proposed guideline. Get up a little bit, because I had heard that there's a debate going on in Pennsylvania over whether public schools are going to ban sweets, cakes, cookies, that type of thing. And so I had to bring to these private school students to show them how privileged they are. I brought dozens and dozens of cookies to these students. <laughs> I had to shake it up for you guys, especially the press, okay? Because I wanted these kids to bring home the idea to their parents for discussion who should be making the decisions what you eat and school choice and everything else? Should it be government or should it be the parents? It should be the parents. So using that is kind of a tool. Especially in Pennsylvania, you know, people like me outside of Pennsylvania looking in. I look at Pennsylvania and I think of sweets. I think of Hershey. And then I think, oh, how dare they ban sweets from school here? You know, no matter which side of the aisle you're coming from, the goal should really be for the greatest health of our kids across the nation. Next up from DietsReview.com this week is use your body as effective fitness equipment. Your body weight is actually what propels you through walking, swimming, and even yoga. So this article is going to teach you a little bit more about dropping the free weights and using your own existing body weight to propel you through workouts like burpees, push-ups, and Superman. Uh, this way you can get a really great strength workout. Even if you're in your own house, you don't need any extra weight except what you're already carrying and maybe what you're trying to shed. Our last story this week is the real origins of the McRib. It's another story from the fast food nightmare files. The McRib is back and with it is another horror story in food science. In this story you'll get to hear from McDonald's supply chain director for the US and he talks about the process of going from pig to sandwich in just a brief 45 minutes and that process yields a 490 calorie sandwich and the whole process in between is anything but appetizing. So check it out if uh, you've been considering the McRib um, or if you just need more justification for avoiding it, this will certainly do it. For dietsandreview.com and Health Buzz, I'm Brandi Kosky. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Diets and Review and find us on Facebook at Diets and Review where you'll get the latest news, recipe of the day, tip of the day, and so much more. Have a healthy week.